Hello everyone, I'm Viv. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to thank you all because I saw that you love this crochet necklace and my tutorial for this motif. Of course, I will put the link in the description box below for this motif. And today it's part two and we are going to crochet this part on our wire collar. You will see it's very very easy and it has a beautiful texture. Okay, so let's see. So for this tutorial you will need a wire collar and you can find one on Etsy, on Amazon or eBay. Okay, so let's see this one. Let's see the diameter. It's 5.5 inches. That means 14 centimeters. So this is the diameter. And see, has this closure. Okay. So the length is, let's see, in inches, it is 17 and a half inches. And that means in centimeters 43 and a half. I'm going to use a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook and this yarn. This is Alize yarn and I already have my motif here. Okay, so uh, of course you will need a yarn needle and a stitch marker, scissors, like always. So let's get starting. I am going to make a knot. You want to leave a little piece of yarn here because we need later to wave in all our ends. So let's make a slip knot like this. And we are going to crochet over this wire color. So let's We are going to make a single crochet here. This is our first single crochet. And we are going to crochet over this wire. But I don't like this. I wanted to start with slip knot, but I don't like it. So let's do like this. You know, I don't like slip knots. <laughs> okay, so take your yarn and place your crochet hook here. Okay, and let's make this loop. And this is our this is the way we attach the yarn on the wire color. If you want, you can work with your wire color closed or opened. Let's see. Okay, like this. Okay, so this is one 
the first one it's a little bit tricky so one two see it's a regular single crochet now so insert the hook over your so under your wire collar pick the yarn yeah yarn over and finish your single crochet so let's do this again and you want to work close you know so place your hook under your wire collar and finish your single crochet like this and we are going to make 170 single crochet if your wire collar is uh, longer or shorter or if you are going to use a thicker yarn or a different uh, crochet hook size this uh, number it's different so for me it's 170 but i will see I will see you later when I'll be here and I am going to tell you how many single crochet but for the white one for this one I used um, I've made 170 single crochet so let's do this again your crochet hook under the wire collar yarn over and finish your single crochet After a few stitches, it will be easier. Okay, so I'll meet you here. So here is my last single crochet and I have 170, as I told you before. You want all your stitches to be evenly distributed okay so you can do something like this and now you have to find your middle okay the middle of the necklace you can count 85 stitches or you can measure and find your middle stitch okay and now we are going to attach this beautiful motif here so for our second and last row we are going to do something very very easy and very beautiful we are not going to turn so here i've made a chain one and it's very easy so skip let me show you you have to skip two stitches one two and we are going to work in our third stitch and let's make reverse single crochet or crab stitch so skip one two and reverse single crochet in our third stitch now again skip one two and reverse single crochet it can be a little difficult in the beginning but after this it's easier and see this beautiful texture so skip one two and reverse single crochet or grab stitch in your third 
and we have to do this until we meet our stitch marker. Let's repeat one more time. So skip one, two. See, skip one, two, and reverse single crochet in our third stitch. See how beautiful this is? Okay, and I'll meet you here. So now I'm here. See how beautiful texture. And it's just reverse single crochet. So now I'm here. Let's remove the stitch marker. See, this is my last stitch. My last repeat. Okay, and now this is our motif. This is our right side and this is our wrong side. I know you can't tell, but no. So this is wrong side because I have a little yarn here, okay? Little yarn end. So with your wrong side, so this is our wrong side, with your wrong side facing you, yeah, so facing the necklace, uh, we are going to attach the necklace like this in one of these chain space, okay? So let's make chain one. Here because we want to have a little space. Please be careful here so your single crochet is not twisted. Okay? And now, this is our. Yeah, wrong side. This is our wrong side. And now, we are going to make here so reverse single crochet in this stitch where the stitch marker was so reverse single crochet in this stitch and attach the motif here and finish your reverse single crochet if you can <laughs> of course here uh, if you want you can switch the crochet hook so this is 2.5 millimeters and for this part you can uh, change it to two millimeters. It's totally up to you. Okay, and we are going to continue and I'm going to show you. So skip two stitches. So skip one, two and reverse single crochet into the next stitch. And one more time because I want to you so one to skip and single crochet uh, reverse single crochet or crab stitch into the next one so one two and I think I need better light I hope you can see what am I doing here okay and now let's see This is our beautiful necklace and motif and as you can see it has some room here to look beautiful. And now we are going to continue our pattern until the end. So, 
skip two stitches and reverse single crochet or crab stitch in next stitch. See? Very beautiful. And I'll meet you here. So here is my last repeat and I have one stitch left. Let's make a reverse single crochet. Mm -hmm. And so I have two left and reverse single crochet here. And I am going to show you. So now here, let's remove this one. And here, let's make a regular. So turn and make a regular single crochet. Okay, so a regular. A single crochet here and let's cut our yarn and chain one to secure. And this is, let me show you, and I'll show you how to wave in all these ends. Okay, so what do you think guys? I think it's very, very beautiful. Yay, this is our second necklace. This is my first necklace. It's amazing. Oh, don't forget to check my um, Ravelry and Etsy, I think. Uh, I will put uh, the link in the description box below. I have also a pattern for a triple pom-pom crochet necklace. So, if you are going to buy some wire colors, you can make also that uh, beautiful necklace. And I have... Uh, more motifs, many more, uh, on here on my YouTube channel, so you can use different motifs and uh, make unique and beautiful necklaces. Okay, and now, so I think it's beautiful. I don't care if here it's teal and here it's gray and purple, it's beautiful. This is the yarn and I love it so let's see this is my front okay of my necklace my right side see and this is my wrong side okay we are going to use our yarn needle and I am going to use this because it's easier okay I have I think you know how to use this right like this and ta -da! it's very easy okay and now we are going to so this is let me see again this is yeah so this is my wrong side okay so we are going to place our needle here like this
now here under these loops I don't know what is happening with my light okay and now we are going to turn If you want, you can make here a knot, knot, okay? And now, let's cut the yarn here because now it's secured, believe me. I will cut very, very close. And let's do this again, again with the other end. I think I need a thinner needle. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> okay, use this because it's easier. The <laughs> Looks like not for me. Okay. Okay, and let's do this again. Insert the other hook here. Your hook, your needle, sorry. Yes, I can. Okay, and now let's cut this. Let me put this yarn needle here because I need it. I will need it later. Okay, and cut very close here. Finally, our necklace is done. You can uh, block it, of course. You can use any uh, method you want. I hope you like it. It's very beautiful and uh, for the winter it's perfect because, you know, it's yarn and you don't get uh, cold <laughs> okay okay guys thank you again for being here for this amazing year yeah i know it was a hard year hard times for everyone but i'm glad i found you and I'm glad you are here and you are staying with me. Please comment down below and tell me what other tutorials would you like to see. Of course, please tag me in your pictures. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. My account is uh, creative.anaviv. I'm on Facebook also. Uh, I'm waiting for you on our Facebook group. It's Creative Anna with Crochet and I can't wait to meet you there. So please, if you like this tutorial, click the subscribe button, like, share the video. So who knows, maybe we are going to be more here next year. Please be safe. 
I wish you all happy new year. I hope you are all safe and happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you are doing for me. For all your love, for all your kind words, because you know I am a beginner with these tutorials and I need all your support and believe me, I feel it. I feel that you love me, I feel that you're supporting my small business and I love sharing everything with you. Thank you again guys, happy new year, be safe, be happy, I'll see you next year, I think. <laughs> Bye guys, bye and thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Love you all. Bye.